Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today I am here visiting Red Rocks Park and Amphitheater here in Morrison, Colorado. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today we are visiting Red Rocks Park and Amphitheater. The latter is considered to be one of the best live concert venues in the entire world. And if you peek behind me, you can easily see why. The goal for today is simple, to tell you a little bit more about this place and to show you around so that you know what you'll find if you choose to visit. So if that interests you, come with me. Hey there guys, I've just arrived here at Red Rocks Park. I am standing here at one of their many parking lots and I am very excited for today's video. When planning my trip to Colorado, my main focus was on outdoor activities. So I started searching right things to do near Denver where I'm staying. And Red Rocks Park was listed as one of the most visited attractions in this area. It is relatively close to the city of Denver and the views that you get from here are truly amazing. That is something that I cannot wait to see for myself and to show you guys as well. And speaking of our views, check out these huge red rocks in the background. These are 300 foot red sandstone monoliths, 250 million years in the making. They are huge, majestic, and the namesake of this location. And they truly make you feel tiny. So let's get closer to get a better look. Almost to the amphitheater you guys and according to the sign there is also a visitor center which is very useful in case you want to learn more information about this place and again look at the size of this rock that is crazy and just like that we have officially made it to red rocks park and amphitheater this is actually the visitor center and apparently also a museum and a restaurant huh i wonder how they fit all of that in there and check it out you guys there's another huge rock over this way these two rocks flank both sides of the amphitheater and provide the unique acoustics of this venue they actually have names this one is called creation rock and that one is called ship rock and bam this right here you guys is a famous Fred Rocks Amphitheater. You can actually get an amazing view from up here, not just of the amphitheater, but also of the surrounding area. Check out how far you can see from here. And from up here, you can actually see that they're getting the stage ready for a concert that is taking place later tonight. The amphitheater is of course the centerpiece of this location. It is mainly used as a concert venue. In fact, as I mentioned earlier, this is actually considered one of the best live concert venues in the entire world. Many popular musicians have performed here, including the Beatles, the Grateful Dead, and Jimi Hendrix. When no concerts are scheduled, this place hosts different events like movie show-ins, yoga sessions, graduations, and festivals. And I mean, doing anything here is probably a majestic experience with these amazing views. Lastly, people also use this place as a workout area, running up and down the stairs or running from side to side as you can see right there. Sounds hardcore as there are 192 of these steps from top to bottom. This place does have public hours where you can visit for free, meaning that you can't come in here whenever you want. For example, today they have a concert at around 7 p.m. So they close this place around 2 to 2.30. So if you wanna check out this place without having to buy a concert ticket, make sure to arrive here early.
Okay, you guys, heading down now. I actually wanted to get on the stage to pretend that I was performing. Unfortunately, that's not gonna be possible. As you saw, they're working on the stage. But speaking about performances, the first performance in this place happened before the location looked anything like this in the early 1900s. After multiple of those performances, people started to understand the potential of this location as a venue. Then it was made into a proper amphitheater to what it is today in 1941. Wow, you guys, this is very cool. And because people are working on setting up the stage for later tonight, this is as far as we can go. There is this little cord barrier in this section of the seating areas. Check out the views from down here, you guys. That is incredible. It is crazy to think that this place is literally carved into stone. The bleachers, the stairs on the side as you're coming down, and even the stage back here. No wonder this place is considered to be so popular and unique. I doubt there are a lot of places like this throughout the world. Okay, you guys, we have officially completed our visit here to Red Rocks Amphitheater. As you can see, this place is really cool with even more amazing views. I strongly recommend you visit this location so that you can check it out for yourself. Now, I want to head upstairs to check out a really easy and short hike that is really close by here. Check it out you guys, apparently this is our trailhead. This right here leads to the Geologic Overlook Trail, which is what I wanna show you today. Let's go. And from here you get this amazing view. That right there is the amphitheater, so we have made it a long way to get to this point. There is also a plaque here that talks about the history of the amphitheater, some of which I mentioned earlier, and another plaque over here that talks about the geology of the area. Getting here towards the end, and I just wanted to mention the amazing nature that we've seen so far today, the huge red sandstone that is all around us, and the amazing hills and mountains in the distance along this amazing weather that we've had today. It's been a wonderful day so far. And over here towards the end, we find the geologic marker. The marker basically gives you more information about the area, including the fact that we are at 6,400 feet up in the air, and the fact that this area is considered to be a transitional area between the Great Plains and the Rocky Mountains, which is a really cool fact that I didn't know about before reading this. Lastly, we arrive here at the panorama of Front Range Foothills, as the name suggests, you can get an amazing panoramic view of the surrounding area. And the plaque here also has very interesting information about the foothills and their geology. It mentions how the foothills are basically eroded layers of sandstone, which have taken over 300 million years to look like this. For example, red sandstone, like the one used to carve the amphitheater from, contains the remains of microorganisms that lived here 300 million years ago. The plaque goes on to talk about the fossils that can be found and have been found throughout the area. The plaque also mentions an area known as the Morrison Formation, which is located along this highway. And that right there, I don't know if you can see clearly, that is the home of Dinosaur Ridge. That area has yielded the remains of some of the largest dinosaurs that have ever lived. If you're interested in checking out actual dinosaur tracks and fossils, I strongly recommend that you visit Dinosaur Ridge. I actually made a video of it on my channel, so I'll leave it down in the description for you to check it out. That location is very interesting and fun, and as you can see, it is very close to Red Rocks Park.
and just like that you guys we get to the end of today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys like this video as much as i did i'm gonna go ahead and ask you to please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to check out more cool and interesting travel videos just like this one and just to remind you to always be kind have an open mind i'll see you next time